What is going on guys? Welcome back to another fantastic adventure. It's been two weeks since my last video. Yeah, roughly about two weeks. But, you know, it's because last week we couldn't find anywhere. We've been a bit stranded. But today we are in a place near Rendlesham, which is in Suffolk. And it was meant to be a raft base, but we decided... Well, as we tried to get in, we couldn't actually find where it was. Um, but yeah, we found the main gate. We obviously didn't just want to walk through the main gate, being like, hello, we're here to explore your abandoned bit. So, we're joining Matt again. Hello, guys. And uh, as we was walking, like, as we were driving along the main road, we looked to our right and we saw an abandoned bit. We are still in military premises because of the fencing. You can actually tell there's military. You can actually tell there's still military because of the fencing and the ra uh, barbed wire at the top. So, obviously, me being military myself, I do know. But this is what we have to tackle through today. Just for your own entertainment. We're going to hope it's a bit haunted. And it's a bit dark in some of the buildings, but yeah. Stay tuned and we'll bring you with us on the adventure in a bit, guys. Yeah, we don't know if this is actually still in use, so we might have to be prepared. We might have to be prepared to actually run. But as you can see, there's a lot. There might even be, there might be security here, we don't know. Only one way to find out is by getting in there and getting caught. But on the rack face, I did actually find some history on it that I'll tell you that at the end of the video. If you stick around to the end of the video anyway. But yeah, let's explore the first. This is the first bit, guys. Let's have a look. What is this? Let's see the camera's about. Guys, you can tell this is old military because that's an oil ball. Yeah, you know, old coffee jar, yeah. Tea bags. Guys, I think we need to be careful in here because we obviously don't know what's actually about. Yeah, oh, loads. Oh. Yeah, what's this? I wouldn't want to anyway, it looks gross in this. Nice. It's in the leaky ceiling. We need to get out of this one. Oh shit. Thank God, we're just in. We just walked in here with nothing covering our faces. <coughs> we just walked in there with nothing covering our faces. No, we just walked in there with nothing covering our faces. So, we might have a life-threatening illness now, we don't know, and as you can tell, the winter has started in the UK, it's pouring down with rain yet again, but that's not going to stop us, I've got my coat on today, so we're alright, Matt hasn't. Yeah. yeah, that's been padlocked, but guys, as you see, it's pretty awesome, good find this actually, to be fair. No, everywhere. Matt, do you want a dartboard? Dartboard? Give it to your dad. <laughs> I do not want to go near either. Old sofa, old step. Just loads of junk, guys. Loads of junk. Oh. Oh, God. This might have to be a quick video because I'm actually sk sketching out a little bit. But we do have to be very careful because the bit that we're going to walk on in a minute is actually part of the main road. So we do have to be very careful. And we'll just keep an eye out, just in case. If you see anyone behind us, make sure you let us know in the comment section below that you saw someone behind us, because that would be very awesome. But... That's new stuff, isn't it? Guys, these are new things here. This is a new container. 
to the power one. Guys, that was all new stuff in this. All new containers in it. That's pretty worrying. Right. Keep my eye on this. I don't know where to go. Yeah. Someone be on the roof here. You can see on the door, guys. That's best looks danger. Approved respirator must be worth. I'm not really talking guys, but I'm tripping out hard. junk everywhere. Well, guys, you see there's American plugs there. I will tell you the history about this place. Because I did my research earlier. I can't see any asbestos. Old TV, look at that old that TV. Alright. See if we can get one more building and we'll go. Let's go down to the other side of this one. Flip. Should we go down the other side of this one? Go, on, this one, here. Junkyard. Very interesting place. Just do full storage this one. Peter. <laughs> yeah, same. I've had one at my house before. All the shows. 
Oh. Look at the bath. Plugs. Oh. Guys, if you enjoyed this video so far, please remember to hit that thumbs up. And also. And also hit that subscribe button. Because we do do stupid stuff like this. Most weeks, every Sunday normally, but it's been a bit of time since our last upload because, like I said, we couldn't actually find anything. We drove for ages, loads of places, loads of places, couldn't find anywhere. But this one's a bit of a risky one because we are still on military property, which is very spooky. So please, like I said, hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. And also, share with your friends because you know I want your friends to see what we get up to, and I want you to be bad to your friends about that as well. It's pretty awesome. Match with China. You know. no. Guys, I'm going to leave this bit, this place here now. I'm going to stop recording because it's a bit tricky getting in and out. So I need both hands really. But I'll join you in my car where we do the history of the place. Uh, where it's the actual airfield. But we do the history of the place. And join you in a bit. See you in a bit. Right guys, we're here for the outro. Like I said, I'll do the history on the place. <laughs> uh, so, the history, it was built, like the, air, the actual airstrip, like, yeah, not this building or it was this thing, but yeah, same sort of place, just slightly separated, but obviously we didn't explore the whole thing, so, but yeah, it was built in 1941, start construction, and then finished by 1944, and it was in use from 1944 to 1993, and the fate of the place was, the site got sold and become a business park, and also a TV and programme film location sort of thing, so they film, like, films there, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the length of the runway is actually 2,725 metres, which is 8,940 feet, uh, and it's made by concrete, not dirt or anything like clay or anything like that. Uh, and it was used by the RAF during the Second World War and by the United States Air Force during the Cold War. From the primary home uh, of the 81st Fighter Wing, under various designations from 1951 to 1993. That's all I got in the actual place, but it's pretty interesting. We're not sure what this was actually used for, but again, it's definitely military anyway. yeah, it's definitely military. You can tell by the fencing. Storage. Yeah, you can tell by the fencing and storage, and just everything about it. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. If you did enjoy the video, then remember to give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also, if you like my content and you like seeing Matt, he does trip a lot, so we're gonna. That's uh, He does trip a lot, so we're gonna try and get him to do a little montage of him tripping hopefully whenever we've done a few more explores <coughs> yeah not. if you do like it then hit the subscribe button and also share with your friends that's the most important thing because you know we, we need to get out there but yeah we'll see you in the next adventure guys thanks for watching and if you did make it to the end of the video then congratulations you deserve a thumbs up yourself